so hi everyone welcome to python overview session so in this video we are going to learn about why python is required for cyber security the basic things that we need to understand before starting the coding steps so first thing uh, a basic overview of exactly why python should be learned in the field of cyber security so first thing is python from last couple of years is getting trained into the field of cyber security because uh, there's a lot of tools, there's a lot of things that need to be done in cyber security. So coding language is bit required. So most probably like the Python is having the very basic syntax and it is easy to code. So a lot of people are using. So I'm going to give you a lot of information about exactly uh, why we should use Python. First thing uh, I want to uh, just disallow the misconfusion because a lot of folks are there, those who say coding is not required in cyber security but actually coding is required if you're working on a certain level you need to code some stuff you need to debug some codes you need to just reverse something sometime you need to automate this stuff so coding is basically required and cyber security is a not a, a small boy game it's a big boy game so it's not like you can automate you can just use some script from the github and you can take something which is freely available there's a lot of scenario in which you need to code by your own so that's why we are uh, working on these courses so anyway uh, from last couple of years python is in trend in cyber security so first uh, why python is crucial in cyber security what what are the main reason so first reason is basically python can be used to automate the task in cyber security field so there might be a lot of tasks that need to be done uh, for example if you need to scan a if you have to scan a network and uh, let's say if you're using nmap so what usually you do you will put some command like uh, nmap minus p and for with a port allow with a port ms minus nmap minus ho for os detection so there's a lot of command we usually use uh, to gain some information related to the ip address so usually we use nmap but what if you have to run a lot of command and you don't want to hang with uh, just uh, working 24 into 7 on the terminal so here you need to automate your task so python is going to help you there's a lot of uh, libraries which can be which is related to basically uh, network like nmap module and web libraries there which is going to help you so you can actually uh, use the library along with you can automate your task which is related to your operating system so by uh, this you can automate your task second thing is uh, it is basically going to help you in incident responding as well so let's take an example there is a data breach so python can basically automate incident response action like that can isolate the affected uh, system it can collect the forensic information and uh, it can inform the notif uh, related uh, people those who are sitting for the soc and all those stuff so you can automate all those stuffs as well now next point is uh, in penetration testing we use so uh, basically for tool, tool development for writing some uh, uh, tools it can be used uh, and uh, it can be basically integrated you can integrate python with a lot of existing tools for example uh, there's a lot a framework which is called Metasploit and Burpsuit. You can use Python to uh, basically write some custom modules and plugin, and you can just connect those plugin to the specific software or tools which can be Metasploit and Burpsuit, and you can just enhance the functionality. So this is what Python is going to help you there. Third thing, it can be used in network security. How? So for traffic analysis, it can be used like. Uh, uh, a lot of time we need to analyze the traffic so we need to identify the anomalies and we need to actually detect the possible threats so there's a library which is called scapy which allow you to craft and sniffing sniff the network packets another thing in networking you can do is uh, you can uh, use it for firewall and ids ips those, those who don't know what is ids ips So IDS is basically intrusion detection system and IPS is intrusion prevention system. IDS means there is something which is going to detect the threat if, if something is uh, running around into your 
network and ips is something which is going to prevent you from a specific threats and cyber attack as well. a basic overview that i given to you related to ids and ips now next thing is uh, it can be used for the malware analysis as well how for starting malware analysis it can be used in both as well and dynamic as well for example it can parse and decompile malicious code or monitor the behavior of malware in a control environment actually you can create yara rule as well if you are into reverse engineering and malware analysis you are familiar with the yara so python script can create the applied rules to detect the categories malware and based on their patterns as well now the next thing is uh, it can be used in threat intelligence as well this is a very interesting domain in cyber security so threat intelligence we can do for the web scrapping and uh, uh, we can actually use for web scrapping it can scrap website and forum social media from where actually we can gather the uh, intelligence data and there's a couple of uh, libraries can be scrappy beauty soap and sometimes selenium these all things can be used for uh, web scrapping and this is going to just scrap the things from the uh, web pages it can be used in uh, data analysis and visualization as well which can comes on the intelligence uh, threat intelligence so uh, there's a library which is called pandas which can uh, uh, and it can visualize tools like uh, there's a matplotlib which helps to analyze large data set and visualizing threat intelligence inside so this is where python is going to help you out now what are the advantages of using python first thing it is very easy to learn very easy to learn so in uh, c or c++ when you have to print something then you probably need to go with the header file which can which, which can be i stream which can be conio.h there's a lot of seven to eight lines you need to write but in python if you need to print, print something just print a bracket hi i am from vi and here you go you can directly print something by using this basic uh, script so yeah this is uh, very easy to learn second thing is uh, there is extensive document so basically python is having a extensive documentation and a large number of tutorials which is uh, easily available on internet and you can learn a lot of things and you can actually solve any problem which can be related to python because a lot of tutorials a lot of uh, guidance is available on to the internet related to python actually uh, this is actually the library rich as well there's a lot of libraries which can help you in multiple tasks uh, like one example is scapy as i told you earlier which can be used for the network analysis and request the web interaction and and map can be used for the uh, network scanning now the fourth thing is four point is uh, community is very active in python so there's a lot of community there's a lot of community of developers security professionals those who work on python only so you can easily get the community you can easily get the open source uh, uh, community which is from where you can take a lot of help and actually um, there is one more benefit is uh, there's a lot of open source project related to python on github so whenever you want anything a pre made uh, things and code are already uploaded a lot on github so you don't have to run somewhere a lot of time so basically a uh, mini cyber security tools and framework is written in python and uh, it can provide you the rich re repo of code that can be studied and modified and can be extended and uh, fifth thing is cross cross platform compatibility so python run various python can be run on various operating system which can be window mac os linux so this can be a cross platform compatible which ensure that a script and tool that is you are going to develop in python uh, 
can be used in different environment without significant changes. Uh, six point can be the rapid and prototype. So there's a very quick prototype in Python. Python is uh, Python's basically dy dynamic typing and interpreted nature allow to rapid development and testing of ideas. So this is particularly useful in cybersecurity where the quick prototyping can help in developing and deploying de defense against emerging threat. So last point is script and so as I tell you in starting Python capabilities to quickly script and automate processes which make it invaluable in creating responsive and adaptive security images. So this is basically uh, the basics of Python that I told you and uh, why Python is required and basic overview why it is you should learn in cyber security. So that's all for this video. Uh, we'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Jai.